Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know I have a banana in my mouth <laughs> If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground and I... Morning folks, I hope you're all well and you've had a great week. Today I am out on my first ever solo paddleboard. As you'll have just seen yesterday, I went out with Grace on my new board just to build up a bit of uh, confidence, try it on its maiden voyage. And today I just wanted to get back out on the water again. I'd like to introduce you to my new board. This is the Hawaii Ultimate 10 foot 6. To give you a sense of scale, I'm roughly six foot one. It's an all-rounder board, so built to tackle lakes, rivers, and surf. It's by a company called Sandbanks, which I went with after a great deal of research and some good recommendations from friends. So the whole I've only been paddleboarding for quite a short time so far, I'd like to share with you some of the tips that I've learned and hopefully you might find them useful too. My first tip would be that when you're going to the water from the shoreline, you put your board in backwards. Now you might ask, why would you do that? That seems a little bit odd. Well, at the back of your board is your longest fin and it's easy to catch in shallow water. By placing your board in backwards generally means your fin will sit in deeper water, reducing the risk of damage. It also means that you'll be able to mount your board close to the shore. My second tip would always be to check the weather, but in particular to check the wind speed. Now, in the lakes here, I'm looking for about a wind speed of five knots or less to get a still paddle. This could vary from your local area and it's good to get used to the preferred wind speed and wind direction where you like to paddle. I'd recommend as a beginner to look for the water to be as still as possible. I generally use XC Weather to help me determine when and where to go for a paddle as it gives you a great breakdown of what the conditions are going to be. Obviously, weather conditions don't stay the same with throughout the day so by the time you get off the water it might be very different to the time that you get on the water so knowing what's ahead is a really good way to prepare. My last tip that I've learned is to do with pumping your board up as if like me you haven't got the privilege of an electric pump it's pretty much a workout in itself. So I would say the next best option that I've learned from Grace is that if you do have the luxury of space to pump up your board and leave it pumped up at home and you've got a roof rack then put it on the roof rack and you can just drive down to wherever you want to launch from and you don't have to worry with deflating and inflating the board every time you want to paddle. If, like me, you haven't got a roof rack, the next specs option I found is to pump up the board by the car. And then this means that once you finish pumping up the board, the pump, the bag, all the um, things that you don't want to take with you to the shoreline, you can just leave them straight into the car and then all you're taking to the shore is what you can launch with, which means you don't have to to and from, from the water's edge before your paddle.
hope some of these tips have been useful to you. If you have any of your own paddleboarding tips and tricks, I would love to read them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching folks, and I will see you all on the next adventure.